guys it's rose welcome or welcome back to the channel you guys in today's video i am standing by my mailbox and that is because i am going to give you some tips on a secret way of rotating your camera to get some different types of photos of your island If we open our mailbox to get mail like normally, there's actually a moment of time where your camera switches angles to a closer, more diagonal shot. So to do this, all you need to do is pick up your mailbox. Then you need to place your mailbox to the left of what you want to take a picture of. Then you are going to open your mailbox and take a screenshot. And then you're going to crop your photo. So I'm really excited to experiment with this today and hopefully we can get some really cool pictures of our island so first I am going to pick up my mailbox and if you notice you can't move around your mailbox so you have to really decide where you want the picture to be beforehand or else you have to pick up your mailbox and place it again so I'm just gonna try to take a picture of the little bench that I have near my house it's a really quick time actually that you have it's about two seconds so I'm also going to move my mailbox over just to see what some pictures would look like a little bit closer as well. Just so you can see where the different placements are and what types of photos that would help you create. So I'm just going to move my mailbox around just a little bit just to see what kind of pictures we can get of this area on my island. And I did see Bo back here earlier today, so I'm going to go see if I can grab a picture of Bo because he's adorable. He's just being as cute as can be. And I'm going to take a straight on picture as well so we can compare how the mailbox photo differs from a regular straight on photo. Let's also go over to... Oh, there's Flick. Let's go over to the museum and see what kind of photos we can get. If I wanted to take a picture of the bridge, you need to put the mailbox up and to the left of whatever you want to take a picture of. I like how close into the details you can get too. I think doing this makes you appreciate the small little details in your island a lot. Let's also grab a photo of this little bug cage because that's one of my favorite items to decorate with. To do this, while I'm pressing A to open my mailbox, I'm also pressing the camera button on your Nintendo Switch, and that's just the button on the left bottom of your Switch controller. So you kind of have to do A and then the camera right after. You can take one of the tiny library. So that item is really cute. Ooh, I really like this spot on my island too. Let's see if we can grab a photo of that as well. I wish that you could rotate the camera up and then open your mailbox and the camera focus would stay up but it really doesn't that's kind of unfortunate okay it's also good to note that if you want a photo with no trees in it you need to stand in front of the trees because the trees will not move with this method but if you do want trees in the picture then totally stand behind the trees ignore my fake plaza that i have on my island i made a video making really small entrances so I made a fake plaza <laughs> for that video and I haven't taken it down yet. Let's take some photos of my entrance. I really like that area on my island. So I'm just going to place it in a, a couple of different locations. Can I fit it back here? No. Okay, let's go over and see if we can take a picture in front of Resident Services 2. Just trying to grab some different photos so we can look at the results. Oops, I missed it on that one. <laughs> okay, I got it. It is a really fast time that you have to take the picture. It's really like A, then camera really quick. Who hurt Fauna? I'm about to throw hands on someone who hurt her. Let's see if we can capture some emotion in these photos. Poor Fauna, I'll have to check on her after I'm done with it. Oh, sure, okay. 
he is so cute i love sherb oh this area by molly's house is really cute too let's grab a photo of this i'm gonna take a straight on shot too just in case so we can compare i really like this area by maple's house too so let's grab a photo of this I'm going to move it up just so we can see the difference in all the photos. Ooh, I really like this little waterfall area in my villager neighborhood too. I can take a photo here. Let's see if we can get a good one of the land bridge too. Maybe of some details in Fauna's yard. Okay, so you definitely have to have a space in front of your mailbox to be able to open it. So you gotta keep that in mind when you're taking photos. I'm just gonna grab photos of a couple more spots on my island and then we can look at some of the results. Oh my gosh, how did Bo get all the way over here again? He is fast. Well, let's see if we can grab a cute picture of them while they're talking. So, using this might be a really good way to get better pictures of your villagers. Ooh, let's take one of the ocean too. We can grab one of our pier as well while we're here. Okay, you guys, I've gotten photos of all over my island, so let's look at some of our results. I'm going to go over to my album in my Switch and scroll down to where we started taking pictures. Okay, so let's look at these two just for an example. This one is a straight on shot normally, and this one is a mailbox, so you can see the different angles. That one's straight on. And this one is mailbox shot, so you can see the difference in the two types of photography. This is really cute. Okay, so this, the mailbox shot, I think is a great way to get details of like villagers sitting on benches, small close-up details, like if you did a lot of decorating on your island, that would be a really cool way to capture it. So this is a mailbox and that was a straight on shot of Bo, just so you can see the difference. You can see all of the details in the decorations that I put by my museum. Oops, <laughs> that wasn't a good one. If you put a bunch of different paths and you want to show off your pathing or some flowers, this would be a great way to do that. Ooh, that was of my entrance. That's also a good way to get different angles of waterfalls that you made. So if you want to show off a pond or something like that, this is a great way to do it. Oh my gosh, look at Fauna. It like breaks my heart to see her so mad. Her and Melba apparently were fighting. I didn't know normal villagers would make each other upset. <gasps> look at Shrimp, he's such a baby. So the camera kind of rotates like clockwise. So here's me standing close to the bench, but then this is me moving up. So I'm just scooting up a little bit more so you can see the different angles of this area. I really like this shot. This is Maple's yard. Oh, I like this one too. This is so cute. Okay, so now that we've looked at the results, we're going to move on to our last step, which is how to crop the photos once you have taken them. I am doing this editing on my iPhone and I'm just gonna go into edit and then crop. And I'm just gonna drag the crop over so that whatever I captured is in the center of the photo. And the iPhone gives you some nice guidelines to show you where the center of the photo is gonna be. But I'm basically just gonna crop myself out of every single photo so that you're just getting the nice small details. And now that we know how to crop them, we can scroll through all of the final results. So I think these turned out really, really cute. I think this is a great way to capture little details that you've decorated or a great way to capture your villagers. So that brings us to the end of today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you found this helpful, please consider liking the video and leaving a comment down below. It does a ton to help out the channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye you guys.